The US has its fair share of paranormal phenomena, but this one is a strange one indeed. A fairly recent cryptoid, as the first sighting was somewhat more than 40 years ago. Its name suggests malvolence, but is that really the case? Well, let's find out! This is the series where I tell you a story, its subsequent theories and explanations, and then I'll let you make up your mind. Today we go to Massachusetts to learn about the Dover Demon. The Dover Demon is a small, sandpaper skinned, pale orange, humanoid, large eyed creature with a large head on a small, Thick like body. It has eyes that glow orange or green and does not seem to wear any clothing. A naked alien. Oh god, why did I say alien? It can be bipedal but often travels on all fours and is sometimes depicted as a sickly grey alien looking creature. But the witnesses describe it as a peach color and contrary to what I said before, some say the eyes don't glow at all. Witness reports, as reliable as ever. The first sighting was the 21st of April 1977 in the town of Dover, Massachusetts. Three 70-year-olds were driving along a lonely road in Farm Street. Bill Barlett, one of them, saw what at first looked like a dog or a cat until his headlights shone on it and he saw the monster described before. And he did report shiny eyes, glowing brightly like orange marbles. He would later make a drawing of what he saw. He was visibly shaken, according to his friends. No wonder when you see a creature like that. The second sighting was the same evening by a 15-year-old named John Baxter while walking home from his girlfriend's house on Miller Hill Road. He thought he saw a very short friend of his. Baxter got a good look at it for a few minutes, reporting long toes and fingers wrapped around a tree trunk and rocks as it stood. He did not report any glowing eyes. Maybe the creature ran out of fluorescent fluids? The third sighting happened the next night, April 22nd, when a young man named Will Tainter was driving a friend home along Springdale Avenue when she spotted the creature. 15-year-old Abby Brabham described it as being down on all fours, hairless and having glowing green eyes. Orange, green, pfft. Color brightness come to mind. Ever since then, several sightings have been reported, some with pictures or drawings showing the Dover demon in all its glory. As far as a demon has any glory, of course. I'm going straight from the bed by saying that some believe the Dover demon is an alien stranded for some reason. <laughs> no surprise there. They even go as far as to identify monsters sighted in other parts of the world as Dover demons. It's a full-fledged invasion. However, no UFO activity was reported around the time of the first three sightings. Some credence is given to this explanation as two months to the day of the first sighting Two men in black appeared looking for Lauren Coleman, a cryptozoologist who coined the name Dover Demon during his initial fieldwork. A woman at the school described the men as wearing black leather jackets and white motorcycle helmets, standing perfectly erect with their arms by their sides and speaking in a monotone voice. 
leather jackets and motorcycle helmets. The MIB has gone Hell's Angels on us. The Dover Demon does not resemble anything else reported in the UFO cases, having some vague resemblance to the standard grey alien, but being a quadruplet with shining eyes certainly makes this resemblance no more than passing. So could it be some form of fairy? There is much less evidence for fairies than for aliens. However, there are more magical than biological entities from some distant planet. And it looks like a demon. Hmm? Skeptics often claim it was simply a lost baby moose, glimpsed under unusual conditions that made it seem like a bizarre humanoid. However, all sightings happen during the wrong time of year for a moose that small to exist and Massachusetts is far from normal moose habitat. Even if it was an orphan moose, wouldn't it have been easily captured? Yeah, it can be an alien. It has to be an animal under strange circumstances. You know what? I... It was probably a mutant skeptic. Others suggest an orange furred orphan calf would be a more likely candidate as they can be born any time of the year. A monkey or a dog or a mutation or others in the animal explanation. As for the glowing eyes, it is correctly suggested that at least for the first sightings the people reported glowing eyes when they were in a car with shining headlights capable of lighting up animal eyes when shining in them. Yeah, I had a cat with glowing eyes once at least when I used my flashlight on them. Associated Press was told by police that the creatures reported by the teenagers were probably nothing more than a school vacation hoax. All of the witnesses have been reported as credible witnesses and none have ever altered their stories. However, Bill Barlett's teacher warned investigators that if I was to pick someone to pull something like this, it would be Barlett. The old adage, we can't explain it, so it must be a hoax. From hoaxes to aliens over mutants and fairies, a lot to think over before you decide. If I forgot something or you have something to add, don't hesitate to do so. If you wish to do your own research, the links in the description might be a good start. Your thoughts and opinions are, as always, much appreciated, so drop a line in the box below. Just be respectful in the comments, as there are real people with real feelings on the other side. If you enjoyed this video, you can like and share and subscribe to my channel. And you may want to click the little bell to receive notifications. I have my Raphael Verdon Squirrel channel you might want to check out. And I hope to see you next time. Bye!